No, hát visszatértünk azzal, akire tudom, hogy kire vártok, akire itt mindenki vár. Úgyhogy itt van a harmadik vendégünk Olaszországból, akit szerintem nem kell számotokra bemutatnom, de akinek mégis kellene. Olaszországból érkezett hozzánk, nagyon-nagyon régóta koszpélyezik, és most már ez professzionális szinten őzi, ez a megélhetése. Rengeteg országban járt, és saját maga készíti a koszpélyt. Fogjátok sok szeretettel, Tarin koszpélyt! Hello, wonderful people from Budapest Comic Con. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here on this stage and to have this amazing time with you all. Thank you. Please take a seat. Let us sit. So this question and answer panel will be about you. So um, I will start with a few questions. Let's start with how did you start with cosplay? Because I, I am really sure that what people want to know. How did it start for you? Well, I can tell you that everything started very randomly. I didn't know, I did not know about cosplaying, about conventions or stuff like that. Uh, there was some friends of mine who took me to a convention. It was not even a convention. It was a very, very tiny event about fantasy, medieval things and cosplay as well. And there I discovered cosplay. And uh, you know, seeing people on a stage uh, dressing like their favorite characters really opened my mind on this. So I wanted to try to give a try on this. And uh, time by time it started to be an hobby for me and became a passion. And nowadays it's my life, it's my job. What was the first costume you ever made or tried? My first, my very first cosplay was from a series that I'm quite sure that everyone here know, know pretty well. It's uh, from the Elder Scroll series and uh, the game was Skyrim and uh, the character was, uh, no, well, it, it, there is no specific character in Skyrim because you can uh, just uh, choose uh, um, the, the sex of the character and then just dress. Uh, and uh, there was an armor that I really liked and they wanted to bring to life that armor, which was uh, like iconic from the game. And they, so I did it. I tried, I gave a try on this, and that was one of the worst try ever. It was one of, the, it's actually one of my worst cosplay. So sometimes, you know, uh, it happens that some people come to me at my booth or just meet me and say, hey, this is my very first cosplay. And they see that they are doing so well compared about what I did at the beginning. So I say, wow, I admire you for this. Uh, you are doing a lot of your costumes, a lot of parts yourself, right? So um, what are your favorite materials to work with? I actually create everything by myself, from the wig, uh, costumes, and makeup, uh, prosthetics, if needs, and um, Talking about the materials, I'm more for uh, props. I'm more passionate of creating props or so using uh, foam, fibra, warbla, or uh, 3D printing, modeling. Uh, but I'm trying my best to learn more and more about sewing because uh, I really want to be a full, uh, you know, at 100% cost maker. And uh, I'm trying my best. So this. This actually was one of the hardest cosplay to make, talking about sewing parts. The coat was very difficult, but uh, I'm very happy because I tried. Maybe it's not yet perfect, but I will try to get that perfection. But then I have to ask, because you are traveling so much, between traveling and costume making, do you have any time? Yeah, there is night, you know? Night. So the, only, <laughs> no, only the weak people need the sleep. Yeah, no, but seriously, I try to schedule very well my time. And uh, even if I have uh, a lot of invitations around the world about uh, of being a, cosme a cosplayer, a guest, uh, I have also invitation as a performer. But when, I, when I'm back home, it's a full-time job there. Uh, people think, uh, hey, you, you travel the world a lot, you must be tired. But you know, 
it's convention, but then uh, I get some rest, uh, I can have my workout, I can have uh, my routine. The real struggle is when I'm home, because when I'm home, it's uh, time rushing, because I have to create so much uh, in order to be, you know, creative as I, was, as I wish, and as well sometimes to create in time several projects for company that I work with. So I find the time. So you are working with a lot of companies. So those are cosplay jobs. What kind of what kind of jobs are or tasks do you get from companies? So for company, uh, actually, was uh, my very first job as cosplayer. Uh, nowadays, I travel the world as a cosplay influencer, so I get invitation as a guest, as an international guest. But I can say that my main job is working with company. Mainly when I work with company, I get like commission to create a cosplay and to perform as that character that I wish uh, during an event, during an online or offline event, uh, or uh, just to promote a product. Uh, and so that that's how it works. And as a cosplay, so a big big part of your costume is the makeup too, because it's. If you if, if you look at the cosplay contest, it's not a tradition for like the like girls. They always make their cosplay makeup, but for guys, it's not that common. But it's a really big effect, and it's really a nice part of the costume. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, makeup uh, for me is a very very important part of cosplay in order to look as much as possible like the character that we that we want to play, that we want to cosplay. Um, so I really. Take uh, give a lot of time to makeup. Dedicate a lot of time to makeup. Usually, uh, one of my common makeup session is around two hour and a half. Might be three hours, or even more when it's about the body or some JoJo characters. Uh, so it it might depends, but it's a very important part for me. So I I'm always happy when I meet uh, uh, when I have in front of me another person who care a lot about makeup. And this is something that really matters for me in cosplay. Actually, that, that would have been my next question. How much time do you spend with makeup? So two or two and a half for a, if, if you are not like a full body paint. So as an average time, with the, so how much time do you need in average to with the makeup, with the costume, with the wig to get ready for, for one appearance? I can tell you what is my common uh, uh, morning routine during yeah, a convention nice. day. So I usually wake up according uh, with leaving the hotel at 10.30, 11. I, I wake up at half past five usually. Half past five. Yeah. It's very early because uh, I must work out before everything else. Working out, fitness is another big Get, part of my life. Getting in shape for you. Yeah, I, I, well, I lift a lot of people during convention, so I, I need to be strong, you know? I, I do that for you. <laughs> and, yeah, and um, so I wake up very early, I do my workout, getting a shower, shaving. I do that every day, depending on the character, of course. And having breakfast and starting my makeup session. And yeah, and usually it's around two hours and a half for the face. Um, but uh, I have a lot of questions actually, but um, yeah, what was, you, you have a lot of costumes. What's your most comfortable costume you like to wear and what's the most difficult one that, that is so difficult that you really hate? This is not the most comfortable one. <laughs> this is not the one. Ooh, corset, corset is killing me, but <laughs> no, uh, well, when it's about corset, long hair, Glows. This is something that I don't like for convention, but I wanted to bring something really good for Budapest Comic Con, so um, I, I took yeah, Sephiroth. Yeah, applause. He he's bringing your nicest looking looking I'm costumes I'm suffering for you, for you guys. Uh, so depending uh, the cosplay, there are a few things that can make can make it very uncomfortable, like fake nails. I feel like so goofy when I have fake nails. I, I cannot touch anything. I I, I, it's a mess, and long hair, it's, uh, it's, it's very bad. But um, the most comfortable ones, just to mention ones, uh, some of them, they are Zoro, 
for sure uh, the ones of, from Jojo Bizarre Adventures, so like Joseph Jostar, all are from One Piece, like Ace, uh, Trafalgar Low, uh, and so. So those are the most comfortable one. Let's say that the most naked I am, the better it is. So <laughs> I know that people appreciate sometimes. So yeah, it's a good yeah, half naked and comfortable. That's a good combination. Yes. <laughs> so next time in Budapest Comic Con, the most naked cosplay. I for think me. a lot of people wanted to wanted to see Zoro. Who wanted to see Zoro? So next time. Zoro. Okay, Zoro around the world. I stopped being asking to convention what what do you want me to take because every time is Zoro. There is Zoro. First Zoro then you. Uh, okay, I was like Zoro Zoro have been everywhere like everywhere like in two times in Brazil, Costa Rica, Peru, uh, South Africa, uh, Asia like well, you know, everywhere really. Japan too. Everyone Zoro, then you can come. Uh, you are traveling a lot. You have seen a lot of countries, a lot of conventions. What was, like, a lot of climate. So some conventions are really warm. Some conventions are cold. Which was the most extreme you have been? So Budapest really, uh, well, it was a surprise. I was hoping for a very, very fresh weather. You know, I, let's bring Dio Brando from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1, uh, full uh, cover cosplay. Let's bring Sephiroth. I'm going to be fresh. I'm going to stay fresh. You uh, no, no, you wish you, you, you would have brought Zoro. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But for sure, the most wild was in India. India, uh, uh, Mumbai Comic Con was so hot but so hot really but in general india is hot and uh it was the only country that where i was going out for a walk it was really hot i was not able to to breathe not only for the heat but as well for the hair pollution the hu humidity uh, so the the um, water in the air so that's really yeah and as well another very very hot and extreme weather was uh, in Saudi Arabia. It was like, uh, so basically in Saudi Arabia, nothing opened before like 4 p.m. because it's super hot. So they open only from, from in the afternoon? Yeah. Oh, so not in, uh, not in the morning? Yeah, exactly, because it's really too hot. But then it goes late into the evening? Yeah, the convention was starting at 6. 6 p.m., of course. Are there any costumes that you really want to make in the future? Yeah, there is uh, more JoJo characters that I want to cosplay as a big JoJo fans. I want to cosplay more One Piece characters. So the, I'm a big fan of anime series as well video games, but I'm more for anime uh, because uh, anime really anime series really made me. So there are plenty few characters that I want to cosplay. Like I don't know if you guys know Inuyasha. But I want to cosplay Seishomaru so bad. Yes, uh, we are looking for, forward to that, so please do it. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, the, the way is still too long and there is so much to do, but I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, I will just check, okay, we have a lot of time actually. Um, you saw the contest yesterday and when you are getting invited as a judge, and you see contestants, what, what are the things you are looking for? Or what, how do you judge a cosplay contest? Oh, sorry, can you repeat? Uh, so, so, in the cosplay contest, when you see the contestants, how do you judge? What are the most important things you are looking for when judging a costume? Okay, first of all, it's according with the, with the rules of the cosplay contest. If it's, uh, you know, uh, let's say uh, free, one that everyone can do whatever they want it doesn't matter if they did the cosplay or not i just uh, i just judge the final the final look and the performance on stage it's really important to me so not just uh, wearing a cosplay but i really want that people act like the character it's something that i really want to see uh, but as well uh, the manufacture of the cosplay 
how they did it, their personal touch. They are things that I really care about. So it's something that I really enjoy when somebody really put all themselves in a cosplay. Not only in the costume, but as well in interpreting the character. Um, let's go back a little bit to the traveling and adventures. Are there any funny stories you can share about yourself experiencing things at conventions with fans? Well, there, there are every time uh, a very, very funny times with, with people, with fans, with all the communities. And depending the, you know, depending the country, they want to do something. Like, for example, in, um, in Mexico, and the, the most Latin America in general, I don't want, I don't know why, but they want to touch my pecs. They are like obsessed with that. So they are making photos like touching Yeah, you. can I touch your pecs? It's like a good luck gesture. And I was like, okay, l let's do it. Or sometimes uh, they ask for weird uh, things, uh, like, can you choke me? Or it's okay, lift, lift up. But sometimes, you know, I, 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 just fall, I just go with the flow. But it's always a fun. I always take things easy, easy, and I just want that people enjoy the time together because it's a memory, it's a precious time that I have with people, and I want that time to be the best possible. Uh, um, I, you told me before that there are some requests, like people want them, uh, want, want you to lift them up. Where did that go? What, how, what did you think when the first time you? you were asked to do that? I don't remember exactly was, when was the first time, but sometimes I, I, I say, okay, when the first uh, come and say, can you lift me up? I say, okay, let's go, let's start, because all the other ones will have the same. And depending the, the line of people can be okay, but sometimes when they are like uh, hundreds, of people, That's I like just a start. Yeah, it's a lot of workout, and the pain will come tomorrow, the day after. Then you will feel the arms. Yeah, no, it's more my leg and uh, and back. Oh yeah. Um, I will let the people ask questions. If we have not a lot of questions, I still have more questions. So, any questions you would like to ask? Because I I will come here to the front. You can come to, come to the front if you want to ask something. So if you want to ask something, then just come here. You can ask in Hungarian too, and I will translate. Uh, I want to ask if you have so little time because of your working and working out, how can you keep in track with your fandoms, like One Piece and anime series you like? Like watching anime, you say? Like, yes. I always find the time to watch anime series. Sometimes, the most of the time, it's when I'm at home, and uh, I like craft something, or, or maybe I cook, or, or I have uh, lunch or dinner. I always watch episodes about what they like, what they love. Thank you. Any questions? Any more questions? It's not a question, it's a request. Please bring Ito to the next con. The one and only I'm Sumo begging. King will be back for you, of course. I promise. Your favorite anime. Favorite, favorite anime. Uh, that's a very, very hard question. I've been watching anime since, well, uh, since I remember, because uh, the, my first anime was Lupin. I don't know if you know the anime, but it's very old. I'm 33 years old now, and I've been watching a lot of anime series. So some of them are very old, and they made me, but some uh, are very popular as well, like uh, Dragon Ball, One Piece, uh, uh, but as well, Nana. I don't know if you know Nana. I love the anime Nana and uh, many more. I mean, for me, it's really impossible to choose a one favorite one because it's, uh, I've been, uh, I ha there is a, a strong bond with a lot of anime series. 
Any more questions? It's not really cosplay related, but I wanted to ask you because you have a beautiful physique, it's visible how much you work on it. How can you manage uh, to still work out and, and go all to the conventions and everything like together? It's uh, all about persistence. Uh, it's all about uh, force myself to do the thing. And I really um, made it so uh, I can, I really feel bad if I do not work out. Even if I'm very late, even if uh, uh, after a convention I'm so tired, I always find the time to, you know, do the job. It's all about persistence. Sometimes people ask me, what is your routine? The routine might change and uh, it, it's often changing, but the persistence never change. And uh, it's uh, not about uh, motivation, like many things, many, many people think, because you know, motivation can come, can go. But if you really want to do something, if you want to reach a goal and you force yourself to do a step every single day to that goal, that's about persistence. And you need to work first of everything else, that. Thank you, respect. <laughs> So the question is, do you know uh, the characters? So the characters you are cosplaying, do you know them all? And if you know them, how do you prepare for that for that cosplay? Like for are you you are behaving like for behaving like the character? So the most of the time I know the character that I cosplay. Like say for Final Fantasy, I'm a big fan of Final of the World Final Fantasy series. My favorite is the ten actually. But uh, sometimes it happens, especially when I work with a company, that they don't know the character. But you know, working, creating the character, time by time I get to know it, and I know and I learn how to behave, uh, what could be, in my opinion, the best portrait in real life for that character. So it's a work of creativity as well, when you, when you cosplay a character and you have to interpret it. Uh, because you must to think how this character will do this in real life, which could be his expression, which could, which, what, what thing he could do while walking, while uh, standing in front of a camera, or on soap. So it's a work of creativity. How much time do you need to prepare for a character? Like not for the costume, but for tuning, tuning into the character, getting it know. The most of the time, uh, it's uh, more when I have to have a photo shooting. There, I try to find a good inspiration to pose and look exactly like the character. So I work, uh, I do a little uh, work and experience in front of the mirror trying to find the best angle uh, uh, how to, to look like the character. So that's the main thing that I do usually. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any more questions? Do you have a dream cosplay you want to do one day? I, well, so far I've made several dream cosplays that I got, like Goku, like Zoro, I always wanted to cosplay Zoro and uh, more characters. Now, let's say, let's say that I don't have big dr cosplay dreams that I want to do, but I'm sure that I will get a lot of inspirations in future and I will find uh, new characters to cosplay. Next question. Okay, uh, who is your favorite Nana character? Which favorite? Nana character. Nana. Nana? Oh, it's definitely Nana. It's definitely her. It, refl uh, that it, re it represents me a lot as a character. I really love her too. And won't you want to cosplay from Nana? 
Oh no, it, they really. Do, I think they won't will not fit me the the way they are because I you know I'm a very I'm very buffed uh, like uh, not the type but of course Nana was a very important anime series for me and in the very well when I was younger especially but who knows never say never so might be might happen someday. Uh, who is your favorite Genshin Impact character? To cosplay or to play? Both. <laughs> to cosplay, absolutely Ito, because um, Ito was the character that uh, made me uh, go close to, Gen to Genshin, so made, made me close to Genshin. Uh, because uh, that was the first Genshin character they say, hey, I could cosplay some Genshin character. And I wanted to try the game because of Ito. But when I tried, uh, I didn't play a lot, actually, Genshin. Uh, so I can say that my favorite and my main so far is definitely Kaya. And I didn't full cosplay Kaya yet, so probably I will in future. My very last question. Won't you want to follow me back on Insta? <laughs> Uh, maybe I maybe I will. Thank you so much for being so sweet. Do we have a next question? Hello, I will follow the pattern of the questions. Who, who is your favorite character from Attack on Titan? From Attack on Titan? Yes. Oh, Levi. Oh, okay. absolutely, <laughs> Levi. You cosplayed him I, too, I, I know. Yeah, but it was a, the buffed version of Levi. <laughs> yes, yes, sure. <laughs> I tried, yes. but it, it works. Yeah, I mentioned my favorite is Rainer Brown. So if you will cosplay him anytime, I will be I'm really totally grateful. In. <laughs> I am still waiting for Sashomaru. <laughs> Next question. So you had cosplayed um, Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk. Did you play the game? Yeah, I played the game. I didn't finish the, the game, sadly, because of the lack of time. But I've been playing Cyberpunk even before it was released because I, I got the, the pleasure to work several times with CD Projekt Red. And uh, the character of Johnny Silverhand, uh, it's a very dear character to me. Also because... Uh, uh, it, it was basically the reason that I've been working with company. So that was, uh, that was the first uh, character that I cosplayed working for a company. So um, I remember that was my first job, official job as cosplayer. And uh, CD Projekt Red uh, contact me, contacted me and told me, uh, hey, we want you to be our Johnny Silverhand in China, and I was like totally shocked about this. I will never imagine about uh, a door like this would uh, ever open in my path. And but so happened it, and I'm so grateful for this. That's so great. And I wanted to ask that uh, which ending did you choose in the game? Oh, I didn't fish. I didn't ah, fish. Well, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And I don't want to make spoilers. Any more questions? Okay, so we got, we got a question about crossplay, or not crossplay, but um, uh, genderband cosplays. Is there, is, are there any female characters where you would do a male version of? You know, sometimes cosplayers do that. It's a, some girls see a male character, they do a female version. The most of the time I'm inspired more like uh, boys, more from boys. But uh, something like Vi, I've been cosplaying Jinx already from uh, League of Legends. And I would love to give a try with Vi one day. So maybe if I will have time, that might be another gender band cosplay for me. More questions? That's Easy question. What is your favorite animal? What's my favorite animal? That, that's not easy question. 
that's not an easy question. But I don't know. I mean, probably the fox. Probably the red fox. I really, I'm really in love with those animals. But I love the most of the animals. I love dogs, I love cats, I love uh, wild animals. So it's uh, hard to choose one. What's your favorite one? Snake. Snakes, wow. <laughs> For those who she, don't she's know. She's a weird one. But we love her. And what is your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Any more questions? It's not really a cosplay question, but we've been thinking since you're Italian, what's your favorite pasta? Well, I miss pasta. Sadly, because of my routine and my diet, I don't eat a lot of pasta lately. But definitely, I love uh, pasta la carbonara. It's definitely one of my favorite ones. I love, I mean, of course, I love pasta al pesto, pasta ragu, lasagne, and so, and so more. Pasta al forno. We have so much pasta in Italy. But definitely, pasta la carbonara is a dish that I love so much and that I love to prepare. I love so much cooking, and I love, I, I think that I prepare a very good pasta la carbonara. Next. Uh, who's your favorite character from Naruto? I love Sasuke. I love <laughs> Sasuke so much. Okay, Naruto represents me. Okay, because uh, especially when I was like in my childhood or during the mid school, I was just like Naruto. So, idiot, just stupid. But I, wa I was never giving up, never. On, if there was something that I wanted to learn or I wanted to reach, I was keep trying and trying and trying because nothing would have stopped me. So I was more like Naruto in everything, but I love Sasuke. Hi. Uh, my question is, what is your most favorite uh, moment or time in a convention when you're not uh, with work or something? I don't have time during conventions. Oh. <laughs> but if you have time... The best you... time is the time that I spend with you all. Oh, that's no, that, That's true. <laughs> and that's also my only time. <laughs> Five minutes left, so we have time for some more questions. I have two questions. The first one, what was your first anime you ever seen? The first anime? Yes. Uh, it was Lupin it, that I remember. And my mother was confirming that because she said that I was very, very, that I was a child and I don't remember this. And she was saying that every time uh, that Lupin, Lupin opening was starting. I was just sitting in the front of the TV and watching it, but I don't remember this. So probably that was my first anime, but I've been watching anime like always that I remember. And I've been watching also very, very old anime from 80s. And one of the oldest one that I love most is Okuto no Ken. Probably you guys don't know it, but it's an anime that really teach me a lot. So yeah, definitely was Lupin, by the way. And my uh, second question is, you have any siblings? You have? Any siblings? Any siblings? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say that my first simp in anime was Lamu. And no, 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 sorry, not Lamu, Shampoo from Rama. Four minutes. <laughs> you have really hardcore fans here. 
and I love them all. Uh, my question is, uh, who do you want to cosplay next in the future from Genshin Impact? The next cosplay of Genshin Impact. Let me think about. Now, together with Hoyoverse, we're moving on uh, different shores. And, uh, but definitely, I want to finish my Kaya, first of everything else. I really want to finish this cosplay. And um, probably some uh, not playable character. Because I'm thinking about uh, those guys from the desert. And those are so cool. So probably one of those, the un NPC that you can, that you, that pro you probably remember. I don't remember the name, but uh, those ones. My question again. Can we take pictures after this? After this, there is an interview that I have to be. Probably after will be the time. As soon as, guys, I will be able to be back at the boot, I will be, of course. Thank you so much. Um, my question is, if you were not a cosplayer, a professional cosplayer, what else would you be? Do you have another passion? Well, I wanted to uh, walk the path of a professional uh, martial artist. So probably if, without cosplay, I would have continued my, uh, my passion of martial art especially Karate, Kyoku Shinkai. Probably nowadays I will have uh, my dojo. Thank you. I think we have time for a last question. Uh, buongiorno, Tallinn. Hello. Uh, come oh. stai? Tutto bene, ciao. Bene. Come stai tu? Bene, uh, tu bene, so. Um, ti mi amo molto. So, um, we love you. So Grazie, sei un tesoro. Yeah, thank you. And um, my question is, um, what is your favorite cosplay to you? The favorite cosplay, I mean, to, yes, to wear. Yes, yes. I love to, cos to wear all my cosplays because they are, uh, each of them was uh, created by, my, by me personally and I put all my passion, all my time, all my effort in them. So I can say that I love to wear all my cosplays, but there are several characters that I feel like more personal, that I feel more comfortable to wear, and they are for sure like Joseph Jostar, Jotaro, Zoro. Yes, yes. They are like, uh, you know, iconic for me, also set from League of Legends. Uh, oh, I, lo yes, I love, I love, I love to cosplay those characters. Uh, yeah, I love, and... Uh, what is your one Hungarian word you know? My Hungarian? One uh, Hungarian word. I know no Hungarian word. I still didn't, do not know any words. Uh, but yes. I will have a few uh, days to learn some of them. Do you suggest any word? Uh, can I teach uh, one word to you? Um, Szeretlek. It means I love you. Can you repeat? Szeretlek. It means I love you. Szeretlek. Saratlak. Yes. Saratlak. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Saratlak. Okay, I will try to stand up. Oh, so our time is almost up, up. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's have a picture all together. Csoport, ide a színpad elé, ha ide jöttök, és megfordultok arra fele. Gyertek ide a színpad elé. Uh, Akkor selfie lesz, selfie lesz. Úgyhogy aki szerette a selfie-n rajta lenni, akkor gyertek, gyertek ide a színpadhoz nyugodtan. I, first of everything else, thank you for being so adorable, guys. You are the best community ever. Thank you so much for being so and for being here today. I, re I really appreciate it and it really means a lot to me. Let's have a picture all together.
Three, two, one. Thank you. Love you, Hungary. Shaladlak. Köszönjük szépen, hogy itt voltatok. Thank you so much.